This is part one of our lesson on negative exponents. It says here, evaluate two to the power of negative three. We haven't seen a lot of negative exponents. They might have just shown up as part of a calculation, but we never really had an answer that had a negative exponent, and we haven't really explored what a negative exponent does. So what I'm going to do to help me figure out what two to the negative three means is I'm going to make up a question that would have an answer of two to the power of negative three. And I don't want it to have a negative exponent in it since I don't really know what they do yet. So I think I'm going to make up a question and I'm going to do two to the power of two divided by, now the rule with division is that we subtract. So I want something that when I subtract from my power of two is going to give me an answer of negative three. So I'm going to choose two to the power of five. That way when you divide two to the power of two by two to the power of five, you subtract the exponents and two take away five is negative three. Now two to the power of two is two times two or four. And two to the power of five is two times two times two times two times two, times two or 32. Now that's a fraction that I can reduce. I see that 4 and 32 are both even numbers, so they should divide by 2. And I believe that 32 is actually also divisible by 4. So I'm going to divide the top and the bottom of this fraction by 4. Now 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 32 divided by 4 is 8. Now 8 is actually a power of 2. It is 2 to the power of 3. So I can say that this is 1 over 2 to the power of 3. That's interesting, but I really think we need to take a look at another example before we can figure out what the rule is here. I do notice that somehow I've ended up with a fraction, but I'd like to take a look at another example. This one here, 2 over 3 to the negative 2, is a little bit trickier. It has a fraction in it, so it's going to be a little more difficult for us to figure out. So 2 to the, over 3 to the power of negative 2. I'm going to make up a question, just like I did for this one, that has an answer of 2 thirds to the negative 2. So I'm going to make up a division question again, and I think I'm going to choose 2 thirds to the power of 2 divided by, now I need to get an answer of negative 2. So when we divide, we subtract the exponents. I need something that when it subtracts is going to give me an answer of negative 2. So I'm going to choose 2 thirds to the power of 4, since 2 take away 4 will give me that negative 2 that I'm looking for. Now I am going to evaluate. Remember that when you're evaluating a fraction as your base, you want to do the numerator and the denominator separately. So 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and 3 to the power of 2 is 9. And we're going to divide that by 2 to the power of 4, which is 16, and 3 to the power of 4, which is 81. Now to divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. And what that means is we take the second fraction and we flip it over and turn it into a multiplication question. So this is going to be 4 over 9 times 81 over 16. And then since these numbers are a little bit bigger, I am going to try using my calculator to calculate. So 4 times 81 is 324. And 9 times 16 is 144. So what I want to do is see if that will reduce at all. I notice that they're both even numbers. Um, and if I try dividing them by 4, they both actually do divide by 4. So I'm going to start by doing that. I'm going to divide the top by 4 and the bottom by 4. Now 324 divided by 4 is 81. And 144 divided by 4 is 36. They're not even numbers anymore, so I know that it's not going to divide by a 2. Um, but 81 and 36 
are both divisible by 3. I actually think they're both divisible by 9. 81 is 9 times 9, and 36 is 4 times 9. So I'm going to divide one more time just to reduce it by 9. So 81 divided by 9 is 9. And 36 divided by 9 is 4. Now, I know 9 over 4 doesn't look anything like 2 over 3, but 9 is actually 3 squared, and 4 is actually 2 squared. So I'm going to say that this is the same thing as 3 over 2 squared, right? 3 squared is 9, and 2 squared is 4. So what I notice here is that something has happened. I ended up here when I had 2 to the power of negative 3 with 1 over 2 to the power of 3. It looks like it has flipped the base over, so that power of 2 has become a 1 half, and then we did the power of 3. Here, that 2 thirds became a 3 over 2. So what happened to that is it has flipped over, and then my power of negative 2 is now a power of positive 2. So what happens here, a negative exponent makes a fraction, right? It'll take a non-fractional base and turn it into a fraction by flipping it over. And if it's already a fraction to begin with, what it does is it takes the base and it flips it. So in the rule box, I'm actually going to write down two different rules, one for what happens if it's a whole number and one for what happens if it's a fraction. So if I have, um, let's say, x to the negative a, what happens is that x gets flipped over it becomes 1 over x, it becomes a fraction, and that's to the power of a. And although here we had the 3 just in the bottom, it is actually the whole thing to the power of a. Now here, 1 to the power of 3 is just 1, so 1 to the power of a would also just be 1. Now if there's a fraction to begin with, let's say we had x over y to the power of negative a, what it will do is flip the base over and become y over a to the power of, oops, that's y over x, sorry about that, to the power of positive a, right? It flipped the fraction over and it made the power positive. Now to help us remember this, I like to remember a little song. It's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. So I'll sing it for you once and then maybe you'll like to sing it with me and we'll see how it goes. So the song goes. A negative exponent makes a fraction. Oh, a negative exponent makes a fraction. A negative exponent has a flipping over action. A negative exponent makes a fraction. So why don't you try it with me this one more time? A negative exponent makes a fraction. Oh, a negative exponent makes a fraction. A negative exponent has a flipping over action. A negative exponent makes a fraction. So the song I find helpful because a negative exponent makes a fraction, and if it's already a fraction, it has a flipping over action. So in part two, we're going to do some examples of our rules.